um one thing that i've learned is that in a moment in one moment or in one decision something good or a plan or something that you thought you had or you had covered can be taken away and you are left back to strategize to see your life differently um to make a new plan and that can be depressing given the number one the world, global economy which is really hard right now with the layoffs everywhere and also with the same i don't want a lot i'm one of the people that i consider i have a very strong network but i will not lie to you and say being unemployed is fun even though at the back of my mind i knew i was gonna find something that was gonna be the same i still was stressed for two three weeks couldn't get out of my bed because i'm a person who lives my life structured in a very structured way after this you do this after this you do this so when something is just abrupt and it just happens and everything just looks like it's not going according to plan i get livid especially when it's about life and things that i cannot control if it's at work you know figure out a plan but if it's about life and things you can't control and when there are so many variables and so many things you cannot control it is tough today we are going to talk about layoffs or when we have been laid off Hello, my name is Mochi Famba. I'm a chartered accountant living and working in Zimbabwe. I make content about education, careers, lifestyle, no travel, and everything about being a chartered accountant. Sometime last year, I, the company that I was working at, they asked people if they were keen on traveling. I did say I was traveling because unfortunately I was keen on traveling because at that time I was really in Morocco, I was living my best life and I thought I liked the life of traveling. By the time I figured out that I did not want to travel then, I could not travel then because of the different circumstances what was happening in my life, it was a bit too late. So I was supposed to go to London starting December. And then I couldn't go. Unfortunately, the company, which is usually the reason I'm telling you the big story, is not to, for you to not blame the company. It was partly my own doing, uh, partly the economy, partly everything. The company, which usually is very good at placing people remotely, could not place me. And unfortunately, they were also hit by the recession. So they had to have layoffs. And unfortunately, I was impacted because I could not go to London, which was my assignment because of other reasons around that there were other reasons of why i couldn't go see you guys london keeps calling my name and things just keep happening <laughs> to make me not go but as i said i was then um then opted for then did a voluntary separation and unfortunately it also then started laying off and a lot of people then got affected in the layoffs here is what i want to learn because whether it's voluntary separation whether it's all right layoff you had no say in it nothing happened you were not asked nothing happened or it's retrenchment or it's dismissal here are the things that i learned because usually when i leave jobs i leave i'm never put in a corner where it's either this or leave and you have to leave i'm i've never been in a situation like that and it was new it was horrifying and here's what i learned number one understand how your company makes money and do it the moment you are not doing what your company requires you to do for you to make money start to be worried start to look for option b start to look for backups so for example your company makes money off assigning you to different clients the moment you see you're hitting three four months without a client start making a backup option hmm. start looking into other leads i know some people who were laid off were already working at other firms or already doing abcd i was loyal i was <laughs> i didn't have a backup job 
well because of I don't know but I didn't have pickup jobs because I think my life also just affects me as a whole job so I never really thought of having an actual real job so understand how your company makes money and the moment you see a month two months three months going by without you doing what the company needs you to do for you to make money for it to make money be worried about your job that's number one number two companies say they are a family they like posting pictures of employees together we are a family we are this we are this but i want to tell you they are not they are a businesses and businesses are in it to make money that which goes back to number one if you're no longer making money for the business or no longer contributing to the strategy of the business or you are just an assignment sitting there you're not bringing change you're not doing anything meaningful be worried but also the fact that the companies are a business should also remind you that you are a business you are replaceable to the company because it's a business but you're not replaceable to your family you're not just replaceable to your friends you're not replaceable to the people that care about you even when you're working through businesses and even when you're working through long hours take time for the people that care about you because when shit hits the fan the business will drop you once it stops making business sense the business will drop you and it's not a cruel thing it is reality it is a fact when you stop making the money they will drop you okay so make sure that also while you're making the company money you're also taking care of yourself in various spheres because you're the only person that has got you and your family is the only people that have got you so make sure that you recognize that companies have business they need you to make money for them but you also need to take care of you outside that business because when you're stressed when you're depressed over there at home worried troubled the things that are going to be there for you is uh your family that is the those are the people that are going to be there for you the company will tell you will will be oh, helping you i know that in this company's retrenchment they talked about will help you in your next interviews will help you create your cvs which is all noble it doesn't affect the fact that you've just lost your livelihood your your source of income because it is it ceased to make business sense so understand that they are outside the company don't wrap your identity so much around the company what you earn what you can do but also wrap it around those around you and your family and the love and the care that is around you number three save for rainy days and people talk about hey, when you're in employment you can just lose your job even when you have a business the laws can change at any time the political environment can change at any time the economic environment can change for any time everyone needs to have a rainy day savings i ignored it because i thought i had other financial obligations that i needed to fulfill at the time uh but you are always better off with a saving for a rainy day so have enough money to live for the next six months i understand that this is a privilege that not everyone has but if you can you know your cost of living sit down figure out what your cost of living is right have enough to leave for the next let's say not even six three months before you get into other commitments and other things because i tell you in a moment in a five minute call or five minute teams meeting your life can change so have a rainy day saving and it's called a rainy day because you never know when it can happen the layoffs that happened in my company happened two weeks before year end right before christmas that's when people were told that unfortunately we can't go on right before christmas and it is just it would be so sad if you have nothing for you because as i told you it's a business they'll try to pay you the minimum that they can as a severance package 
I don't think they will try to say what's the maximum that we can give this person. I don't think so because at the end of the day, it's a business and it's a business decision. So make sure that you have enough money for a rainy day. You don't know when it's coming, and that money needs to be there, whether you are employed or whether you have a business, because things can change in a second. And I'll keep saying this: in a second. The fifth thing or the fourth thing is you are your own biggest asset and never stop investing in yourself you yourself you are your biggest asset you know what i'm talking about what do you what do we what do you own you're going to talk about your car your house your land your this your that your that your money money in the bank but you your earning potential is your biggest asset don't stop investing in yourself so that you are also marketable if it doesn't work with company A, you still have relevant skills that you can use in company B. You still have relevant skills that you can use in company C. Do not ever stop investing in yourself. Learn a new skill, learn a new craft, learn how to do things better, learn to improve. Improve yourself and your knowledge base. You are your biggest asset and never stop betting and investing in yourself. The fifth thing is network is key. Keep in touch with all people, all and sundry. It doesn't matter whether you think this person is not really at your level, whether you think um, this person shouldn't be interacting with you, whether you think you're better than them, or however, or whatever, whatever things you're thinking. Your network is your net worth. Don't stop investing in those around you. Don't stop investing in the relationships with those around you. Because I tell you, for me, it took me uh, three weeks or so for me to get a new job. Because I then reached out to my friend who reached out to someone and reached out to someone and said, Oh, there's this person with this, 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 this. Now, that's what we're talking about. You are your biggest asset. I had lost my job mostly because of my own doing but i could i managed to get another one that I, that still has all the things that i loved about my old job and still allows me to be myself about still waking up my mom still doing what i love and doing the things that i need to do and sharpening my skill set and growing i found a job i would actually say that is better to an extent because i reached out to my network so don't stop investing in yourself and don't stop investing in the networks that matter then the last thing is i'll always say this i am not blaming the company that i was working at if you know it good for you if you don't i'm not blaming them because they're still employing a lot of zimbabweans and for me, I take full responsibility for what happened to me um, with the change in mind and everything. I take full responsibility of it. And it leaves me to number six. There are consequences to actions. And this is mainly not for people who have been laid off, but for people who have been maybe retrained, um, dismissed, um, or even also people who resign. There are consequences to the things that you do. If you remain stagnant and you don't learn, you don't improve yourself, things are going to change, systems are going to change, and you're going to be left behind. Whenever something happens, try to look at what has been your role in that thing happening to you before you blame spirits, before you blame others, before you do anything. Please try to look at what actions did i do or did i take that led me to this point but for layoffs i don't think it matters really because for some people they got raging reviews and they still were laid off because maybe they could not be assigned at that time maybe the clients had already chosen the people that they wanted to work with them not necessarily that those people were more qualified than them but just because of the timing etc etc for layoffs it's very difficult but if it's not a layoff figure out a way or figure out what was your role 
that you played in what happened to you and how can you improve and how can you make sure that you do not repeat the same action that made you lose your job in your next job i hope this was useful um let me know if you learned any lessons from if you ever lost a job and you ever learned anything from it if you've been laid off what was your biggest takeaway aside from looking for a job in zimbabwe looking for a job in zimbabwe is fun if you have another job if you don't <laughs> um it's a mess thank you guys thank you for watching up to this time uh don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below for me to be able to continue to make such content thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you in the next video bye